two, one. What we're going to be doing today is hosting a static website on AWS. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is sign into the Amazon console. All right, there are two ways to do this, uh, possibly even more. What we're going to be doing today is using the a very simple method um, where you can just drag your host files, all of the files used to host your website. You'll be able to literally drag those into AWS and it'll be just that simple. There are a few steps we need to take, uh, but it will be uh, fairly simple and straightforward. And what's going to make that easy for us is once we're signed to the Amazon console, we're going to basically open up what's called the Amplify console. And we're going to just go to the search bar, type in Amplify. As you start to type it in, that service will be returned to you at the top of the list. Okay, so here's the welcome screen for Amplify. Okay, once you get here, what you need to do is click the Get Started button. Okay, and it basically scrolls down the screen. It asked us to, um, do you want to go into Amplify Studio and build an app, or do you want to go to Amplify Hosting and host your web app? So what we're doing is hosting a web app. So we'll go there, click Get Started. Because what you're going to be asked next is, uh, hey, where's your existing code? And there's five choices here. Uh, GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, code, commit, and deploy without a Git provider. Okay, so earlier when I said there were other options to do this, this is what I meant. We won't spend a lot of time on these other options. We're going to focus on deploying without a Git provider. And a Git is basically a term that describes a, a type of deployment method of software that makes the versioning uh, upkeep and maintenance very easy. So I'm going to select deploy without Git provider. And press continue. Now, now that we've done that, we're being asked, we're on what's called the manual deploy screen. We've been asked for an app name and an environment name. This really will depend on your own particular circumstances. Okay, in my case, I'm going to make this simple. Just call it a I erase that by mistake. Let's call it Quick Starts the website. That's going to be our app name. In the environment name, let's call this Education. We want to leave the method of drag and drop selected. So, yeah, this is the source. Let's consider this a source, okay? Uh, this is what you're being asked to provide. You're being asked to provide the source. Okay, and if you look down here, it says drag and drop your projects, build output directory or zip file here. So we're going to try to do that. Now, before you do this, you want to actually know where your files are hosted for your website. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using a locally hosted website. Okay, that means the website runs locally on our laptop or computer using the server on that laptop or computer. Lap your laptop or computer is serving as a server. Uh, the other possible way to do this is maybe you have a site hosted somewhere else with a shared web host 
um, like a GoDaddy, for example. And what you would do then is you would compress those files and download those files onto your local computer. And then you would upload on the same screen. So, as I stated before, you want to know where your actual files are. And now I know where my files are. I just need to drill down to the folder. Now, here's the thing. At this screen, I'm not being allowed to select both a file and a folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply compress the files that I want. Since I am being told that I can upload a zip file, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is go back through my file explorer, find the files that I want, compress those files. Okay, and then once those files are compressed, I am then going to upload the zip file as opposed to uploading individual files. And let's try that. My gut tells me that's going to be much more uh, advantageous to us than me trying to upload individual files and folders at the same time. Okay, and I was correct. The zip file has been uploaded, or it's been a prop prepped for upload. Now I need to press the save and deploy button. So we have some progress being shown here. Now we're on uh, a screen is telling us the deployment successfully completed. We've also been shown a URL. Okay, and uh, we've been given a date and time. I'm going to click here and look at the back end environment. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's a promotion for Studio. So according to this, the files are active. So I should be able to visit this URL and see the same website that I have hosted locally. And then let's test that. This is the website running locally on my computer. And to reach it uh, is beyond the scope of this video. But if you're running a web server locally on your uh, desktop or laptop, uh, this is the screen that we're getting. This is an HTML page. It's running some JavaScript, uh, which is generating this dynamic number here. And I specifically wanted to to do this with dynamic uh, logic enabled. So when I hit this URL that's being listed under domain that has been provided to me by AWS Amplify, I should see the same thing. So let's see. Wow. And I would have to say that was extremely fast uh, as compared to other methods of uploading website files to a website, such as FTP or uh, some of the other more popular open source tools like uh, cPanel, File Manager, etc. This was extremely fast.